What's up everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of the Sage accounting platform and its feature. Sage is a great accounting platform that you can use to track your budget, your expenses for your company. So let's get right to it. First, you have to uh, sign up to uh, the Sage platform. So uh, the uh, best way to do so is to search on Google for uh, Sage accounting sign up and go to the first page here so because in the sage homepage you cannot really find the sign up um like uh, option here so it's easier to um like search for it on uh, google here so it will land on you land on this page so on this page this is the sign up page here you can also log in if you already have an account so in this page, you can enter your details, such as your company name, your product type, your country, your first name, your mobile number, etc. So um, I'm going to fill in all these details and then accept the terms and conditions and get back to you. Okay, now that you enter all your details, it will send an OTP or ask you to verify your account uh, with your phone number or your email. And um, once you do, it will first ask you to confirm with mobile number. If that is uh, not available, then you can wait for the timer to end and then ask to confirm by email. That's what I did anyway. So um, once you do and confirm your email or your phone number, you will be redirected to this page where you can enter your company settings. So uh, let's click next. Here you can enter your uh, company uh, details. So your uh, like uh, postal address, your postal code, your physical activity, and uh, so on. And here at the top, you can find like the um, main uh, like menu items for the platform. So here you have your dashboard, your main dashboard, your customer dashboard, your supplier dashboard, your item dashboard, your financial dashboard, and your own workspace. So if we try to go to the dashboard here and like skip the uh, uh, like company details, Okay, information tracker and right. Okay, uh, you can set up your production of personal information. Okay. So um, here, let's skip it for now. Let's go back to the dashboard. And in the dashboard here, you have your to-do list. You have your banking. You can add a bank account now to track your expenses and your income. You can capture your expenses that I received or set up a bank fee to automatically import your bank transactions. Um, here you, uh, into the do list, you can create a quote for customer sort and you can like start selling your customer by adding an invoice. You can go here to my workspace. Here you have your sales history. So it's empty because uh, the account is uh, created right now. We haven't had any sales yet. And here the top customers by sale. So um, here you let's go to the workspace. In the workspace here, you can uh, customize all your uh, work. You can say here you can download the Sage uh, accounting application on your phone. It's available on the App Store and the Google Play. So uh, remind me later. Okay, uh, except for the settings. Okay. Now um, here in the workspace, you have you can access your dashboard. You can create a quote. So that is like your main uh, toolbox or your um, like main tools here you can create a quote send it to your customer you can create an invoice and send it to your customer to collect money you can uh, receive money from your customers you can uh, create a credit note supply invoice supply payments import bank statement uh, and uh, many more features here you can also generate a profit and loss uh, report uh, prepare that uh, return and change your company settings. So here is the company settings option. So here uh, it gives you like a quick tutorial. Uh, so if you click next, okay, here are the favorites. Create your first invoice, uh, upload a bank statement. Okay, so um, here in the quick view, you can view your customers, your suppliers, item, your bank accounts, your accounts here. Of course, we haven't uh, connected any bank accounts yet here you can add a customer you can view a list of customers and sales you can view your transactions reports special and time tracking and in suppliers items you can add an item so in the bank you can add a bank or credit card you can 
view the list of banks and credit cards, you can view transactions, reports, and special. And you can view the accounts and accountants area. You can invite your professional accountant to manage your account with you. And here you can generate multiple reports. So for customers, suppliers, items, sales and purchases, banks, uh, accounts, that and so on. And the company here, you can add, open and manage companies. You can change the company settings. You can uh, view the company assets, budget, use uh, um, tough management, analytics, and so on. So um, let's go here to uh, the customer dashboard to view how it will look like. Here you have your top customers. You have the top customers by sale. You have the customer balance, customer reports. Of course, uh, each of them is uh, like uh, empty because we haven't had any sales yet. Uh, and here it is the free trial. So you are now on the free trial. If you are, you decide after a 30 day that you uh, like the platform and you want to pay, you can click on buy now. And you can uh, upgrade your uh, like a subscription lead that is your current package. So uh, accounting number of companies one, number of users two. This is the free trial, so you can upgrade. So if we click on upgrade here, you can uh, enter your upgrade options. So you can have additional companies, and uh, depending on the additional companies and users that you add, they will calculate the price for you. And here you have uh, additional features such as time tracking, multi currency advanced inventory and uh, debtors manager. So um, here it will um, let you pay depending on the feature that you ask for. Though that is pretty good. You do not have to pay for extra features that you uh, do not ask for and do not use. So um, here in the administrator administration, you can manage users, you can control user access. So let's manage users here that view what it will look like. Okay, um, this pop-up keeps popping up. We do not want to set it uh, right now. Okay, now you can add your accountant, your professional accountant, or you can add a user. So here, uh, myself as a user now, and you can add your accountant here. It will show here. And here you have some quick links and some important notes. And if you scroll up in the top right corner here, you will have, uh, you can get answers for your questions. You're going to connect with a uh, peg or your, their customer service. And here you have your favorites. You can uh, add a current page or manage uh, favorites. And up top here, you have your account, your profile. So you have your settings, company settings. You can contact support. Here you have your profile settings. You can manage your profile or you can log out and here you have uh, your company, you can view more info or you can add a company. And if you can, if you uh, click on the company settings here, you can edit the company settings and details. So that was a quick video overview of the Sage accounting platform and its different features.